In today's Donnie Befit, a Charlotte High School graduate is going to the Olympics in Rio, and as ABC 7's Don Brennan shows us, she's getting in Olympic shape in Sarasota. Don? Scott, Amanda Carr was a very well-rounded athlete who played several sports for the Fighting Tarpons at Charlotte High and even played Division I soccer and ran track in college at Division I as well, but none of those sports are the ones she will play in the Olympics. In fact, Amanda Carr earned 17 varsity letters at Charlotte High School in track and field, soccer, golf, and weightlifting. However, she'll go to the Summer Olympics in Rio in BMX. In 2008, I was watching the Olympics and BMX was debuted in 2008. But then in 2009, I was like, oh, you know what? I, I really want to go to the Olympics. And I told my dad that, and he's like, well, he said, your best bet's probably going to be in BMX, so you might want to start riding your bike again. She got to Olympic levels rather quickly in the BMX, but there was a log jam on Team USA. I was like, OK, I'm top 10 in the world. Like, at the time, I was top 10 in the world. And I was sitting on my couch at home watching the Olympics, watching girls that were ranked lower than me compete at the games. And I'm like, how the heck am I going to get to the Olympics? So thanks to her heritage, she was able to take a route not available to others. The opportunity came to compete for the country of Thailand, which is where my mom's from. My parents had met while my dad was serving in the Vietnam War. And uh, that opportunity came up, called Thailand, spoke to Thailand, spoke to Thai Cycling. The beginning of 2013, we declared that I would be 100% a Thai athlete. And from there on, we just started collecting points. It may not be with Team USA, but Carr is a 100% Olympian, too. 16 girls will compete at the Olympics, and I mean, I'm just honored to be one of them. Her friends were so proud of her, they threw her a huge party. Everybody was invited, but it was a very poignant moment being able to tell her mother that she was going to represent her mother's native land in the biggest athletic event in the world. I qualified for the Olympics. Good luck. I made it. Good luck. Being an Olympian takes a lot of training both on the track and off the track, and Amanda uses Paul Williams to train her physically. One similarity there is working on reaction time, agility time, first step movement, and just being physically strong. And it's a lot of mental conditioning because the race is very short, fast, and you gotta be very aggressive. So Williams has a very athletic young lady to work with. He just helps her stay on top. We've been at it for quite a few years, you know, working towards this goal. So a lot of work on her part. So it's it's just nice to see somebody who's worked very hard get to where you know get to this point. Amazing athlete, really. I mean, she it's, like I said, 17 letters, varsity letters at Charlotte High, but she went to NC State on a scholar, uh, soccer scholarship. So she yeah. plays every game her freshman year, and then decides she'd rather do something else. She transfers to Florida State to run the heptathlon, wow. which is you know the seven yeah. great events for women track, and then. You know, so she's going down there. I just talked to her. She's going down to Rio to walk in the opening ceremonies. Then she'll come back here for a few days and then go back there to compete a few years later. Wow. Amazing athlete. That's awesome. And it's so interesting that, you know, she's not just riding the bike. She's doing these other, you know, activities and exercises to get ready for that. Yeah, it seems like she could have gone in the Olympics in several things. Yeah, if She exactly. really put her mind to it. All right. Great story. Thank you, John.